Beep, what would you do if zombies took over the world? <laughs> Bloody zombies with you, for the PlayStation VR. Let's begin! First up, let's take a look at the gameplay. This is a side-scrolling zombie beat-em-up game that is set in London. You can choose from one of four survivors to play with. The combat system is quite in-depth for a beat-em-up game. There is many different attacks you can have your survivor perform. There is simply too many to go into, but some allow you to attack an enemy when they are on the ground, and another allows you to slow down a zombie's movement speed briefly, if you dodge at just the right moment. The dodge one is a good one to have, because you'll have to learn to dodge well, because there are a lot of different types of zombies that each have their own movement pattern, and attack. You simply can't beat this game from button mashing. To give you a fighting chance, you can pick up weapons that are hidden around the world. The weapons have two types of attacks, and really do make you feel more powerful when you're holding one. As well as weapons, you can find extra lives, bonus points, and cash. Cash is used in shops and can upgrade your skills. Skills also drop randomly from time to time after killing a zombie. Picking up the same skill twice will increase the skills level. Most sages have a boss battle at the end. You'll have to get used to their attack patterns and will not want to die here, because if you die, you have to start from the beginning of the level. When you take down a boss, loads of pickups are scattered everywhere. It almost feels like an RPG loot system. After each level you are presented with your stats and will also be given a rank. The game does come with a non-VR mode. The game also has multiplayer where up to three friends or random online people can join you. Everyone plays together whether or not they are using a PSVR. If you are playing in VR, your survival will wear a headset. I love little details like this and it shows the developers have given a lot of thought about their game. You will be happy to know that you can also play couch co-op. One person can wear the headset and the others will play on screen. Be warned, when playing multiplayer, if your team members are not good at the game, you are very likely to fail. This is why I chose to play single player for the majority of my time with the game. It can also be a little bit hectic online, especially with your team setting off bomb zombies randomly. You will need to be on your guard and work together at all times. Now let's take a look at if a beat-em-up side-scrolling VR game can be immersive. The depth is incredible and everything is super crisp. I have to relate the whole concept to Paper Mario, because the survivors and zombies are 2D and are inside a 3D world. Traps swing back and forth towards you and the environment really sticks out at you, as your viewpoint scrolls left and right. I honestly can't express how good it looks in VR. You know exactly where you are positioned in the world, the sharpness of it all really does help with the cell shaded art style, and the many locations you'll be guiding your survivor through are all very unique and very detailed. It can feel a bit odd when your head is virtually floating through the scenery. It almost felt as if my head had been cut off at first, as I was viewing the stage from just above the pavement. Don't worry though, you do get used to it. When looking left and right to see the whole stage, it almost feels like you are backstage of a beat-em-up game and are seeing how the level is made. It does feel a bit surreal, especially if you have played side-scrolling beat-em-ups in the past. It's your average zombie story that we are all used to by now, although the game does provide some inventive rude humour. Killing the zombies is very visually appealing. Blood splatters across the ground and little pieces of cartoon gore fly towards you. It really does look great. Now let's take a look at the setup and the controls for the game. I played this game in a seated position just under 2 metres away from the camera. The head tracking was perfect and the game did not give me motion sickness. This game is played with a DualShock controller. The move controllers are not supported. Now let's take a look at how long this trip across London is and what trophies come with it. The game has a tutorial and 11 stages for you to beat. The stages often take between 13 minutes and 20 minutes to beat. It is unlikely you'll beat them on your first try. It is quite a hard game. Once you have beaten the game on normal, you unlock more difficulty settings. If you like to fully complete a game, you'll be bashing zombies for a very long time. If you are a trophy hunter, I have some good news. This is one of the few PSVR games that have a decent trophy list and there is a shiny platinum. You may not be very happy with the challenge that comes with achieving them though. In total there are 41 trophies that can be achieved. There's 24 bronze, 13 silver, 3 gold, and 1 platinum. You'll earn a lot on your first playthrough, but one of the trophies I anticipate people will have a bit of trouble with is for getting an S rank on each level. It's incredibly hard to get an S rank, and I was nowhere near on the levels I played. 
And now it's time to see what I think of this zombie apocalypse overall. Much like the Dark Souls games, you really have to master enemies' movements and attacks. It's very rewarding when you combine moves to make a large combo. It looks visually stunning, especially with the cartoon gore splattering everywhere. This is a hard game, even on the lowest difficulty, which is normal. Even though it's hard, I don't take points off from my final score, if the game's difficulty is fair. If you don't like a challenge, you will become frustrated whilst playing. I love a challenge in games, and if you learn everything this game has to offer, it really is an amazing beat-em-up experience, and the many options you have of playing with other people makes it so much better, as long as you have a team of pro gamers by your side. The addition of having non-VR players playing with VR gamers is a major step in the right direction. Overall this is a superb game, with a great amount of content for the price. The gameplay is near flawless, and it proves that beat-em-up games can certainly transfer over to VR, and can be a bloody good time. I give blood Zombies a score of 8 out of 10. You're crazy, beep. This really is a great side-scrolling beat-em-up game. If you grew up playing these types of games when you were younger, you will certainly get enjoyment from experiencing this genre in a new perspective. If you enjoyed this review, please give me and Beep a thumbs up. It really does help us out. 